Alright, I'm Tony from uh, Tower Decals. Today I'm going to show you a uh, method of installing the Camaro hood stripes. What we have here is well, obviously we have a Camaro that has painted rally stripes on it. That's the only thing we can get our hands on to, to do that demonstration. So it'll look a little funny. We're going to go ahead and do a red hood stripe. Uh, the installation will go the same. Uh, a couple things you're going to need is a bottle of water with a drop, one drop of soap uh, for a bottle this size uh, and the rest of water. Uh, next would be some sort of heat source, either a hair dryer or a heat gun. Uh, some masking tape, I'll show you what we use that for, and then this is the most important thing, you're going to need a squeegee or a, uh, a license or a credit card will work just the same. And then some sort of cutting device, either an X-Acto knife or a blade like this. And uh, so what we have is I've already pre-cut, you're going to receive your decals, some tower decals, in a pair. You have to cut them down the middle in two. You can trim it as close to the vinyl as you'd like to help with the lining it up for install. That's what I did here. Um, when you receive it, it'll be rolled up. You might unroll it. You might see some bubbles in it. Uh, don't worry about that. They'll come right out when we uh, lay this down without the uh, application tape. So I've positioned it. Uh, ours are cut to where you can either uh, line this up uh, as close to the bumper as you'd like or even bring it all the way up to the edge. Uh, I brought mine back about a uh, half inch and then uh, my stripe and then the end piece is going to wrap over on the back side. Uh, I took some masking tape to position it there for me so it would be easy in the installation. Uh, first thing you're going to do obviously is you're going to make sure that the area that you're working with is uh, clean and free of debris and dirt. Um, if you have waxed your car you need to wash it down with some good dish soap and get that wax layer off otherwise uh, your de the life of your decal may not last. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my application uh, soap and water and I'm going to spray down liberally all over this area. And once you get it nice and wet, make basically the, this whole area right here, you use your finger to kind of make sure it's spread out evenly. But you can't use too much, so don't worry about that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my decal and I'm going to start removing the tape, the backing tape. So this one is a gloss color. Uh, if you were to have a matte black, it might want to try to stick to this backing tape. Just go ahead and keep pushing it down and peeling it back until it stays on the application tape itself. It is good to have two people. As you can see, mine just came off. If I had a second person helping me hold it there, it would have been better. But this is okay. I just want to make sure that it doesn't touch itself. And I'm going to go ahead and spray it down. Just like I did the hood. Go ahead and soak it down on the sticky side. Nice and liberally. You'll be able to move this around and adjust it as we go, so don't worry too much about having a perfect line right off the bat. I'm just trying to get it to run right with this cowl here and down towards the front. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your squeegee and you're going to work your way down. Now this decal is going to want to move, so you're going to want to hold it in place and work this water out of it from the top down as you go. And you want to do one area at a time, just like this, and you want to position as you go down it's going to want to move. I'm going to go up on that one. As long as you get all this water and soap out from underneath of it, it will be just fine. Sometimes you might want to lift up and reposition if you're off your line. I'm just going to get the top set and then I'm going to come back and do bottom. Obviously working your way down. You might get these fingers here and they're okay. You're just going to work them out just like that. fingers to move some of the water out, but it's best to use a squeegee because that pushes the decal really firm into this groove here. And you know, the white rolls out. Now this is going to remain kind of slidey around on the hood until you apply your heat, which that is okay. This gives you, it allows you room for error. You can come back and make adjustments. 
as you can see now I have it pretty well lined up just to make sure I get all the water and soap and bubbles out from underneath of it. That's going to be very important because you don't want bubbles in it when you're done. Alright, basically out of your work your way back and forth on that until it's good to go. A good thing to do is to give it a squirt down on the application tape itself. That'll kind of wet it here and make it easier to slide the credit card or the squeegee along it. And again, go over. Keep doing this for a few minutes. And then you're going to, after you're done doing this, you're going to want to let it sit for about 15 minutes. Okay, we waited our 15 minutes and uh, we applied our heat source to it uh, a little bit and let it cool down and dry and it became tacky. So, uh, what we're going to want to do now, oh, I also wiped up the area. You can wipe off all the water and soap and all that so it doesn't dry on your car. What you're going to do is you're going to come to the end and you're going to pull back and you're going to make sure that the decal doesn't come up. If it does, then you need to push it back down and wait longer, wait for it to dry. Um, as you pull back, you can pull back nice and slow in a rearward motion here. Don't pull out, pull straight back. Don't go too fast. If it starts to bubble, again, push the application tape back down, smooth it down, and wait a little bit longer, apply more heat. Anyway, as you can see, we're not bubbling. It's running along the line of the hood. Everything's good. And we're pulling back. I'm going a little fast here because I actually waited a little longer than 15 minutes. It's a little drier than it used to be. And I'm going and going. And almost there. A little bit. That's all right. It comes up just a little bit. And we're going to pull back. This end looked like it was a little bit wet, more wet than the other end, which is just fine. So now I have some bubbles. I can actually, because of the wetness that was under there, I can move it, reapply it, and smooth it down with my hands. If I get that little finger there, we're fine. This is a good example. Sometimes, most of the time, it'll come up no problem, but if this happens to you, this is what you do. And then you keep going until you get it all the way down. And there we go. Nice and smooth, no bubbles, no wrinkles on there nice and good. So what you're going to have here is a little bit of overhang. And you're going to take your sharp blade and you're going to want to cut fairly close to the hood underneath. You're going to want to wrap underneath. Anyway, once you get it cut, you're going to tuck it. So trim it all the way down. And then tuck. You want to make sure that it only attaches to the metal surfaces under the hood. What will make this go better is to apply heat and it will conform it just a little bit better. There you go.